I've done a lot of video on videos on apps I call underrated applications, and a lot of them are really underrated, but this one might actually be the most underrated one, and I have unfortunately in my previous videos totally forgotten about this application, but I think it deserves to be mentioned when it comes to really underrated great note-taking applications. This is Workflowy and it is an outliner application, which means that it is bullet points with bullet points nested underneath other bullet points. Uh, it is a way of note-taking that a lot of people do like. One of the reasons uh, for me not using an application like this and forgetting about it a lot is simply because I'm not personally a big fan of outliners. Um, in many cases, I do a lot of my long-form writing in my note-taking applications, and even though you can do that in Workflowy, which we will touch on later, it isn't as good as doing long-form writing in an application that is meant for long-form writing. But we are going to take a look at why this application is so underrated. Let's start with the pricing. So the pricing has changed since the last time I reviewed it. It was uh, cheaper. I think it was two or three dollars cheaper, but I don't remember um, exactly what the pricing was. But now on the annual pricing, you will get this for $6.99. It has a free plan, but it gives you a monthly bullet limit. Uh, and a uh, 100 megabyte file upload cap. It gives you basic sharing uh, options and community support. Limit can be increased by inviting friends, but the pro plan honestly isn't that bad. $7 each month for a note-taking app that is this powerful and has a lot of features. It isn't terrible. Uh, I also think that Workflow Pro on the monthly plan is okay, but it isn't the best pricing I've seen in my life. I think uh, a lot of um, other applications are better priced than this. But with this, you get access to all features. You get unlimited bullets and unlimited file uploads. This is probably the reason why you should at least consider jumping from the free forever plan to what's called Workflowy Pro. You get full sharing options, auto backup to Dropbox and premium support. Uh, so mainly this is just for trying out the application for a while, figuring, figuring out whether or not it is for you. Uh, once you have done that, you probably have to change to Workflowy Pro. For a, a usual note taker, my guess is that you will get over the uh, monthly bullet limit, but if you are like me and you take a lot of notes, you're definitely going over the monthly bullet limit. Now let's jump into the application. So as I said, this is a outliner application, which just means that these bullet points can be, you can nest other bullet points within these bullet points. And uh, that allows for a lot of customization like I've done here. So I've used Para with my areas here uh, and I have my personal social media uh, and I have people and relationship, I have personal stuff. That's all my areas. Uh, I have projects within here and this is actually a Kanban board, which this application also allows. You have things like resources, tasks, inbox, people. So uh, mine isn't perfect. I mainly use this application for uh, these YouTube videos, but um. The point here is that it is super versatile with this setup. So let's just actually use this blog one uh, as an example. I can jump into here and I can actually click on the layout and I can change this either to a full paragraph. So let's say I wanted to do my blog posts. I could do that. I can turn them into a to do. But what I will actually do is turn them into a board uh, and within this board, I will just add to do, doing, and done. So to do, doing, and done. And you can add more, you can add less, um, and done. Let's say I had an idea to do a workflowy post. And I can actually click into this and I can change the layout of this as well. And this one, I actually want to turn into. Um, I 
let's go back. I misclicked and again, uh, let's turn this into a paragraph. Uh, and just let's start writing. And as you can see, uh, I can just start writing like this. I can add a test and then I can do enter. I can use markdown to format this. I can also tag this if I ever want to. Uh, but basically this one bullet turns into a paragraph which allows me to do long form writing inside of here. So um, a lot of cool functionality here with the ability to both do long form and uh, do project management to do um, a lot more within this uh, application. Uh, if we now jump back uh, into my resources, you can see that this has backlinks as well. So this is a book written by Ali Abdal. Uh, I've linked back to him. Uh, it has one backlink as you can see when I jump into his bullet. Uh, and I can also click this right here and I can change the text of this basically because the link is uh, works a little bit like uh, a regular hyperlink. Um, so what is what it does is that it links to uh, the bullet and you can change the text of it. But basically the way you do it is just by writing uh, actually what is it inside of here. Uh, because this is different in any uh, in every application some have uh, some do it using the at symbol I think it is um, double square brackets here and just let's just do uh, ask yourself and I can link to this and as you can see it appears here so it is double square brackets in uh, this application what I like about this way of uh, backlinking is that I can actually change the text. So if I just wanted this to say test, I could do that and it would still open up Ali Abdal. That is just something I like. Uh, so that covers the backlinking. Uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on is a unique feature to, um, to Workflow. We, I haven't seen this a lot in other applications. So let's just do a test project and let's say I wanted this test project to live here inside of my projects but it is a part of my personal social media so I also want it to live underneath personal social media so I can go here I can do backslash and I can uh, mirror something here and let's mirror test into here this is from upcoming project so I know it's the right thing I can actually mirror that into here so a bullet can live in multiple different places which means that your information will never need to be uh, duplicated that's the whole point of having a feature like this i love the mirroring function uh, i have um, something similar uh, which is uh, mirror cards in um, in Milanote, my project management application, and I love it. Uh, so I would use uh, something like that a lot. But just in general, uh, it is a really easy to learn application and an application that will grow with you. You can uh, get into complex workflows like this, or you can just use it as a way to just take easy uh, notes uh, just bullet point notes so this is an application i really like i think the pricing is okay i would consider it to be better if it was one uh maybe one and a half dollars cheaper uh but uh that is just nitpicking i think the application is really good and i think that it is uh, still a great option as your uh, note taking app and it is really really underrated because people are not talking about this application anymore even though it has a lot of great features. That covers it for today's video. If you have any questions leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching today's video.